In this morning's showbiz report, the upcoming Netflix series, The Queen's Gamut, is about chess, drug addiction, and a girl with a dream. Manny the Movie Guy sits down with the main cast for this exclusive interview. Start your clock. Big congrats on the Queen's Gambit. It's an intelligent coming of age story and an honest look at addiction while paying homage to the billions of chess, and I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Oh, you're so welcome. So, first things first, what got you interested in joining the cast of the Queen's Gambit? I heard that Scott Frank wanted to meet me. I knew that there was no script, but that it was based on a book and I love to read. I inhaled this book in about an hour and a half. Wow. I finished the book and I was just buzzing with so much energy and so many ideas. And I, I was just desperate to play her. I feel like um, Beth is somebody that I understand very, very intricately. And I felt like I was the right person to tell that story with all of its intricacies. Doesn't make them any smarter. And I think it was the feeling that she that she was always alienated, that she always felt like she didn't fit in, that she was struggling to find her place, that she found this thing that she loved so much, but that it required so much from her. Um, yeah, there were a lot of parallels. I really, I really felt like I was the person to tell this story. Mine is a tranquilizer addiction, right? Mine is a tranquilizer addiction. Thank <laughs> goodness. Yeah. You're an orphan, Beth. I'm fine being alone. I feel safe. I'm a big fan of yours, an accomplished Aww. director with films Thank such as you. Can You Ever Forgive Me and The Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Yet now you're back in front of the camera for The Queen's Gambit. What got you interested? Truthfully, I'm friends with Scott, the director and writer. And um, he's been threatening for years that he was going to try to get me to act in something. And I hadn't acted truly in 10 years. Yeah. And part of my whole thing as a director is that I'm an actor and I'm an actor's director. And I started as an actor. That's how I trained. That's what I always thought I was going to be. I kind of fell into directing by accident. Um, and then it's become a passion of mine and something I love. But I always say that, you know, the reason I'm good at directing is because really I'm an actor deep down. But I hadn't done it in so long. So I thought I got to keep my street cred up. I got to. I got to get my acting chops, give them a workout again. You got your gift. And you've got what it costs. And my position is very concrete. It's a grand master of a series. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really uh, appreciate that. And I love your enthusiasm. 